Hi guys, welcome back. This is the uh, stunning Barbados cherry or uh, acerola. It has many names. The Jamaicans call it Jamaican berry and everyone claims it for themselves. And uh, wow, it just got a new coat of leaves last week. It dropped all its uh, old leaves from last summer and I'm really excited for this uh, two-year-old Suriname cherry in a pot. It's not gonna go in the ground. We've already lost three of them in the ground. We're learning, guys. So yeah, these are all from one week of growth. Can you believe it? Can you, can you see what a tree can do in one week? It can set all these leaves. And yet the mangoes, <laughs> huh? it's two years, two years for them to get new leaves. Wow, one week on a Barbados cherry. So not all trees are the same, but I'm glad that um, this made it through its second winter, coming up to its third winter next um, June. So that's the tree there, for those that are not familiar with it. Acerola, the Florida sweet variety, which is pretty much the only one I think in Australia. And it says, uh, very sensitive, very frost sensitive. Yeah, I learned that. But not only frost sensitive, it's also wet feet sensitive. The ones I lost, I didn't lose them to the cold. I lost them to, um, damp soil in the ground i've lost one in the pot too to our uh, wet feet i don't know how the heck that happened but if you leave the pots out in the rain in in winter it's um a death wish here in melbourne okay now the good news is it's flowering guys and setting fruit i'm getting bit by a a fly as i'm talking let's see if i can swat Hang on, I've got to get this fly. Okay, there's the good news right there. See how those... Uh, oh, now the fly's back. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's three... Um, is that focused? There's three uh, fruit there. Yeah, I think that's focused. And I think there's more. Hang on. Yeah, there's three more here. Oh, focus, come on. Three more there. So there's six cherries on the um, Barbados cherry, which I can't get a focus on. Might have to end up getting a new phone this summer. I never had these problems when I first got this phone, but now it's always playing up on me with a focus. But anyway, you get the idea. There's the, um, the fruit. When I look really close, I can see new fruit coming, but it's really, really minuscule right there see that something's going on there so I won't be surprised if there's gonna be like over a dozen fruit or more coming on this Suriname cherry over summer very exciting so that's another view of it from the other side it's coming up really nice very attractive do not plant this in the ground in Melbourne unless the tree is like I don't know maybe five years old and it has a trunk at least that thick and then in a mound yeah mounded like you do an avocado in the tropics tropics it's different you just plant these in the ground when they're this small and they survive winter, no problem. It's a different uh, world. It's constantly um, hot there. They don't get um, cold nights for long. And uh, this, well, their winters are very short. Everything's in their favor. Everything's in their favor. So here we've got to do strategic planning. You've got to think before you do. And here, I've got two more, which I picked up recently. Like... Um, I think it was in uh, October. Yeah, October this year, 21. 
and look at the size of them that's the size that they came from dailies already up to my um, belly button in the first season thank you very much and they're both getting new growth see that everywhere look all the green the new the young green the light green it's all new growth here on the acerola why did I get two and not one well for a few reasons one I love uh, the taste if you haven't tasted one I got some fruit off my previous uh, acerolas in years gone by before they kicked the bucket I they did fruit I had a big one in a pot it was six feet tall and it had a trunk at least that big and it still succumbed to root rot unbelievable it was um, four yeah about four years old it was a real bummer so that's one reason and the second reason guys well I want to have a few of them I want to have at least two so if I lose one I still have two if I have three that's even better right these are tropical cherries and they're unlike the European cherries very delicious I have uh, regular cherry trees but they don't do it for me as much as these guys and I've been sort of neglecting them get, leaving the, the fruit for the birds but these I don't want to share these guys they're just yummo all right guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and we'll see you from another video soon you ask for it and you're gonna get it where have I been someone asked me where have I been <sighs> um, for a few days I've been busy working on the other channel real life Funtopia go and check it out I'll put a link to it and uh, please go there and subscribe support the channel and uh, we're gonna keep making more videos from over there and from over here thanks guys see you all from the next video